All right, welcome into the Maryland basketball post game show, the Turp Talk basketball uh, post game show. I have Todd Carton with me on a disappointing night for the University of Maryland, losing 77 to 67. And Todd, it was one of those games we talked about it so much where Maryland fell behind 18 to 1 after 10 minutes. And from that point on, they were the better team. But unfortunately, you can't erase the beginning. And they had to climb that hill and climb that hill. And they kind of ran out of gas. Once, once you make it a quick summary that that's what happened. Yeah, absolutely, Bruce. I mean, you know, I, Maryland, I think, missed their first 13 or 14 shots from the floor. They missed their first 13, I know, from behind the arc. And you just can't go into, into a road game in any league, let alone the Big Ten, and start that way. And the, the slow starts have been an issue all season. They seem to be getting a little past that. It happened again today, and it, and it kind of doomed them from the outset. Have to be proud of the comeback, though, by uh, led by Eric Ayella and Fats Russell. They turned it on big time. Fats Russell with his steals, and Eric Ayella just four straight three pointers that they weren't they weren't they were NBA three pointers plus. I mean, he was on fire, but too little, too late. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Bruce, we we talked before. You know, they the Maryland closed to within three points at. at, at Late in the second half, it was 61 to 58. And if you put it in the perspective of, gee, if they only make two baskets of those first 14 shots, when they make that big rush, they actually get their nose in front. And yeah, it was largely behind the, the steals of the, and defense. I mean, just the, their defense tightened up early in the second half. They had a bit of a lapse that let Michigan State run out to the lead, uh, build up their lead again. And then Maryland had to dig deep and and come back again. You know, Maryland came out on fire, started the second half on a 10-0 run, forced Izzo to call a timeout. And then Michigan State extended the lead back out to 20. So it was almost as though the first three or four minutes didn't happen. So Maryland had to come back and, and repeat that effort. And, and yeah, you gotta, you gotta admire the effort, but effort doesn't get you uh, anything, but the, uh, an opening round game in the big 10 tournament or something like that right now. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver, Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you, you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer. The Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dog. We missed the opening round. We're in the second round, which is nice. Uh, I did ask Fats Russell. I was in the post-game press conference about that one play where it looked like he got thrown down by the center for Michigan uh, with the referee almost staring at it. And he just said, I just didn't get the call. I mean, he took the high road. But uh, I tried to – I wanted to know if the ref said anything to him, like he didn't think it was a foul or whatever, but he just said, look, we're on the road. You're not going to get all the calls sometimes. And, you know, it was the right answer. Uh, he was obviously upset about it. And then the breakaway, uh, where they called a breakaway foul, I think it was against him. No, two it, was shots. Against, it was exempt against Xavier Green. Okay, two the shots. The intentional was against Green. And the ball. Now, they made the two shots. They didn't score the bucket, but it was too little, too late. But let me ask you, Todd, when they cut it to three, could you envision the upset? Because I sure could. Well, yeah, I, I, you know, I mean, they had clearly they had taken the crowd out of the game, um, which always helps when you're on the road. And, you know, if they came down and you cut it to three, if they get a, a defensive stop on that next possession, which they didn't, 
uh, and have the ball with a chance to cut the lead to one, then, yeah, I think you really could envision them, uh, you know, making, making that final push. It would have been a, a small miracle, but yeah, you certainly could have, could have envisioned it. So that's where it goes. I'm not sure the opponent who the opponent will be. There's a mention that it was Michigan state again. That would be interesting. I thought it was Michigan, but we'll have more on that information. Uh, you know, as soon as we have it, we'll put it up on Turp Talk. But uh, Todd, it's been a long season. And, it, you know, the comeback was great, winning four out of your last six games, just not enough. And it looks like it's going to take a miracle run in the Big Ten. They're going to have to win the Big Ten championship to get a bid. And I would say that's pretty unlikely, but you never know. They got right. to find the, the other thing is, is that, that, you know, you'd like to see him get at least two wins in the, uh, in the, in the tournament, in the big 10 tournament to keep alive a 28 year streak of uh, 500 or better in, in program history. Yeah, I agree. That would be nice. But at this point, uh, what I'm worried about now is the game on thir it's Thursday, uh, part of the quad. They don't have to play in the play in game and uh, we will take it from there. So, Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the uh, Turp Talk postgame show, and we will see you soon. And, Todd, thanks so much for coming on. Always a pleasure, Bruce.